Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video on the Kotlin series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install your integrated development environment for Kotlin. All right, everybody, welcome back. So what I'll be doing is showing you how to install a program called IntelliJ IDEA which is a IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. In an Integrated Development Environment, it's just a type of text editor for programming. So it has a bunch of tools and features that go along with it that makes programming really easy. So what I want you to do is open the interwebs and search for IntelliJ IDEA. This is the most popular Java and Kotlin IDE. So we're gonna open this first link here. And so this is actually made by the same people who created Kotlin itself. So you know that it's gonna be really great for what we're gonna be doing. So it's my favorite IDE. I use it for pretty much you know everything for Java and Kotlin programs. You can scroll down and look at all the features and stuff like that. But let's go ahead and download it. I'll have a direct link to this in the description below. Now there's actually two different ways to download IntelliJ. I'll be showing you both. So the first one is you just click download. Then you're gonna select your operating system. So I'm using Windows, so I'll select Windows. But you're not gonna select this one. This is for IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate. This is just the paid version of IntelliJ, but they give you a free 30 day trial. You could try this one if you want to, but for the types of Kotlin programs we're gonna be making, it is not needed at all. So you can scroll down here and you can see that we have IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition and this is gonna be the free version so that, you know, you don't have to worry about paying it later. So click download and that's gonna start downloading that for you. So now let's go ahead and open this up and it's gonna start running the installer for uh, IntelliJ. Now it's gonna ask you where you wanna install the application. So I'll just click next. And here's some options. You don't really have to touch these if you don't want to, but I'm gonna click create desktop shortcut, open folder as project. That's pretty useful sometimes. Then you have these associations here. So this means that um, if you have these types of file extensions, you can open them up using IntelliJ, which is very nice. So, and so since we're gonna be making Kotlin programs, I'll select .kt and .kts. The other ones you can select if you want to, but they're just optional, okay? So click next and click install. Now it's gonna go to install everything. So this might take a few minutes, so I'll be back when it's done. And while that's installing, I'm gonna show you the other way to install IntelliJ. So if you just search up JetBrains Toolbox, you'll see this link here, so click it. And this is the JetBrains Toolbox app. It's a way to install all of their software really easily. And it helps you update them really easily as well, which is really nice. So you can click download to download that and then just run through the installation process, a very simple process. And then once it's installed, you can do Toolbox to open that up. And here's the Toolbox application. But you may notice that I have a bunch of IDEs already installed just for all the different types of development projects I work on. They have not just IntelliJ, but they have a bunch of different applications that they provide for a bunch of different languages, which is awesome. Now, the one that we want is IntelliJ community version, right? I have ultimate. So to install a community version, we go down here. You just got to find it and click install. That will install it for you really easily. And then once it's done, you can find it up here. And then every time you want to open the IDE to actually, you know, start using it, you just click it and it'll automatically start it for you. But now if we go back here to our manual installation, we see that it's done. So we can click run IntelliJ IDEA community edition. So click finish, and now it's gonna start the application for you. So the first thing it's gonna ask you always is if you want to import some settings or not, I'm gonna click no. And here we go, this is all we needed to do pretty much. So in the next episode, I'll be showing you guys how to create a new project, or first Kotlin program in fact. So be excited for that. But for now, there's different things that you can customize about IntelliJ in the settings if you want to. You can set it to light theme or dark theme if you want to. You can set other different theme options. This is the older theme it looks like, but dark theme is the best one in my opinion. You can also set the font if you're also blind like me, so you can make it really big. Um, you can also install plugins, which is really cool. So along the way, you're gonna learn about different plugins most likely, and there's some really cool ones out there, but for what we're gonna be doing, we don't have to worry about those for now. Uh, IntelliJ already offers a bunch of plugins built in, so nothing that we're gonna be doing is gonna require a plugin, but, but you can look through those if you want to. But that's it, that's how you can install IntelliJ IDEA, which is an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment, which again is just a special text editor for writing programs, but offers a lot of powerful tools along with it. See you guys next episode where we create our very first Kotlin program. Bole, bole.